This is the graveyard and kirk of Barn Wheel in South Ayrshire. This used to be a parish in its own right, but in the late 16th century, Stair became the parish church, and this old kirk uh, was allowed to, to eventually fall down. We have the ruins today, just some gabled ends, and a very simple church. One of its claims to fame is that John Knox uh, preached here one occasion. This uh, kirk originally belonged to the, um, the monks down at Fail Abbey. They were the Red Friars, the Friars of Redemption, or Trinitarians. This church at one time was known as the Kirk in the Wood. The name Barn Wheel may be a, originally a, a Welsh style, a Cymric name rather than a Goidelic name, which may refer to trees. However, a legend, a legend persists that in fact is related to Wallace's burning of the barns at Ayr. And above us, in the trees, is the Wallace Monument. Not the famous one at Stirling, but an older one located here overlooking the very high point of the countryside. The name Barnwell, Barnwheel in the legend, local legend, myth, is a comment being made to Wallace about the destruction of the barns at Ayr, and he says, yes, they burn well, they burn, burn well. There's some old gravestones here. This one could be one of the Wallaces of Craigie. It certainly has a coat of arms, very worn, present on it. Other pre-Reformation graves have the symbol of the trade, Here's a, a spade, whether that a spade as in a coal miner or a farmer, or could even be a wooden implement as in a baker would use. This is still used once a year it's at Easter, when the con congregations from Symington and uh, Craigie come here to hold a service. Here's another pre-reformation pre grave with what appears to be, again, a spade and a pickaxe and some other implement. It's said that one of the reasons why this church was abandoned is it was too far away from Stair, because it was a Stair house where the laird lived too inconvenient for him to travel up here on a Sunday, so he was keen to have the parish moved. There's also a record of a member of the parish here attempting to burn Stair Church down as a complaint. The local lairds here were the Neils, later Smith Neils, of Barnwheel House. Here's a gravestone to Colonel J. W. Smith Neil, CBE Scots Guards of Barnwheel and Swindridge Muir. Swindridge Muir is over towards Beath direction. Also mentions his wife. Evelyn Mary Maris Duke. Now entering the old church. And here's a small 
local mystery. This wooden cross, which has recently been erected on the gable end, is again Evelyn Mary Marius Duke, the wife of uh, the Smith Neal mentioned in the gravestone. It says, Tout comprendre c'est tout pardonner, which may loosely translate as being to understand is to, to, is to, to, is to forgive. And that's June 1940, 21st of June 1940. So it's unclear as to what incident this refers to. Close by is the site of the old Barnwell Castle. Just beyond the raised ground area there, there is a moat. It's a superb position for the castle. area down here, of which nothing remains. This gable end wall here shows several stages of building or repair. There seems to be at least three different uh, sections of work there. The bottom section protrudes slightly. The next section does so as well, with the top section being slightly set back. This may well be that the church had some other use, a more vernacular use, well after its uh, ceasing to be a church. something unusual. It appears to be the grave of a dog. Not something you commonly find within churchyards. It reads, Our dear Frau died 6th of October 1911. Here's the old access lane that runs down to the road. The road leads down to Barville House, to Lady Kirk, to Underwood. If you go to the right, you meet the road that takes you up 